Yo, what's good everybody? It is your man Robal back for another video and as you can tell I'm not playing on my typical accounts that I've usually played on in this game before. I'm not on my waterbending account. I'm not on my airbending account. And I made an earthbending account and I'm also, I also made a firebending account and that's the one I'm on actually right now. This is my fire save. Now I haven't played the game in a few days on my fire save so I don't entirely remember my fire move set. I basically spent an entire night grinding to get the moveset and I mastered fire for the moveset at least, not for like, you know, Max Chi, I guess. I don't even know if Max Chi is possible in the game. But basically, I have the entire fire moveset, so we're gonna go ahead and try to use the entire moveset, show it to y'all, and maybe get in- I don't know if I'll get into a fight. Ooh, there's an airbender there. Airbenders are really annoying in this game though, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of the moveset. Now, it does describe some of the moves if you just hover over them, everything but the fire kick, because the fire kick's kind of obvious if you just do it. You know, like it, it's kind of like the water kick, but I don't think you can control where that one goes. So basically, Fire Strike is the first tool in my move set. This one isn't necessarily the first one I get. I don't remember. If, I think this might actually be the first one. To be honest, it's been a few days since I played on this account. Maybe even a week, so I don't really remember the move set. Fire Step is more like a dash move that I use. So while I'm running, I use Fire Step to just go a little bit faster, equip it again, go faster. It's pretty obvious what it does. Then the next move is Fire Jab, and this is kind of like fire you can control and stuff like that. It's pretty simple. It's like the Fireball, but the Fireball I think is a little bit slower and a little bit larger. Yeah, I think it's a little bit larger than the Fire Jab. It might do more damage, I'm not too sure, but I heard using Fire Jab is better. Now correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section if you are a Firebender. Some Firebender claim that one move is better than the other, and I don't remember which one it was. Fire Propulsion literally makes you go up if you just like hold it. Now my Chi isn't necessarily the best, so it goes down pretty fast. And then fire kick we've used that before it doesn't get controlled it just goes straight and then fire jet lets you just go forward like this it's kind of like you know zuko or i guess azula does it i don't remember if zuko does it but kind of like flying basically i know ozai does it with his feet though that's pretty cool in the series oh i forgot you can't double jump in this game i'm so used to double jumping in games right now that it's so weird to see it here or i guess that it's so weird to not see it in this game not to see it because you don't really see it in this game now when it comes to this game um I would say fire and earth were literally the easiest to progress in. Firebending and earthbending were so easy to progress in. It honestly felt like it took six to nine hours or so. It really did not take that long to progress on these accounts. Now, when it came to airbending, that one took a little bit longer in my opinion because I think I got gripped so much that I just lost so much EXP or something like that. Airbending was really, really annoying to level up in. But my waterbending account was the most fun. It did take a long time to water level up waterbending, but I don't really recall how long because when I was leveling up waterbending, I got to like the halfway point during the testing and I maxed it out during the normal playthrough. Ooh, these dudes are teaming on people. Uh oh. Look at them right there. There's three or four people right there and there's an airbender right there. He might get gripped. We'll see what's going on over there. Seems like these guys are just chilling actually. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now I might join a new server because I do want to, you know, explore the map and interact with some people. Now when it comes to playing this game, oh my gosh, I wish I recorded it. I basically fought, um, a firebender on my earthbender account and i had no special armor on this account even i don't have any special armor i have like the starter armor for firebenders like the first one you can buy but basically i was on my earth account leveling it up and i interacted with a firebender and the firebender immediately like started trying to attack me when i turned around even though i could still see them they tried to attack me and stuff like that and it was just so funny because basically Earthbenders, they can do some good damage if they really, really try. Fire propulsion. They can do good damage if they really try. So basically, when Earthbender, like, looks like what I did, like, they don't typically look like they have bending. So it looked like I didn't have any, you know, bending at all. <laughs> so then basically, when he tried to fire the fire attacks, or she tried to fire the fire attacks at me, I took out my Earth Gauntlet thing, like the Earth Fists, and I just, like, pieced them up with that and the Earth Boulder move, and I just kept hitting him. None of their attacks hit me and I just pieced them up. They were about to die. And then an airbender appeared and they tried to get the airbender to attack me. And I told the airbender, yo, like, they attacked me first. I don't know what you're trying to do. And the airbender was like, oh, both of you need to calm down then. I was about to grip that firebender, to be honest. I was like, I do not care. This person attacked me first. I might as well grip him. But I decided not to because the airbender wasn't being toxic. So I might as well stop being toxic too. But it was pretty fun, to be honest. I think it was really, really fun to, what is this? Look at this dude. I think it was really fun to at least get into that fight experience. Like honestly, when it comes to combat in this game, the combat is a little bit difficult to get used to in the beginning. And when it comes to um, fighting experienced players, you may lose a lot. But for me at least, I don't think I've really lost one-on-one -on -one battles too much recently because 
I've been trying out different bendings, learning how they work, so I know how their bending's gonna work when I'm fighting them. Like, I know what they're gonna do. Now, before I fought this firebender, I didn't- I had leveled up my firebender account, of course, so that's why I pieced them up. But before I fought them, I fought another group of firebenders, like two or three of them. And they were really good because I didn't know how firebending worked. I didn't know which moves would let them, like, you know, control where it goes, like fire jab, you know? Or, you know, like fire kick, how I can't control it. I didn't know which moves did what. So I was really like, you know, trying to learn it, but over time I did learn and I did piece them up. So this game, it just takes time to get used to, you know, what people are going to be able to do and stuff like that. Like when it comes to firebenders, most of them are probably going to use moves that let them control where the fire goes. And most of them are probably going to circle around you and keep range because fire, in my opinion, seems to be like more of a range type thing. Like when it comes to fire strike, like you need some distance, but you need to be a little bit close to them. When it comes to fire jab, that one's range, fireball, range, wee. And then when it comes to fire propulsion, that just lets you know maintain range. Fire kick is just basically ranged as well. Everything in fire, except for like fire strike, I could argue, is like a ranged move, basically. Everything allows you to maintain distance, from what I could tell. Now, another thing I did notice when being a firebender is that People who are new to the game automatically assume firebenders are going to attack them. Like, I assumed that um, on my earthbender account that firebender was going to attack me and I was right. But firebenders, for the most part, haven't really been too toxic. Some of them are, of course, because they, they want to be the firebender. Like, you know, attack people from Avatar and stuff like that. And that's a given. That's going to happen. But basically, it, it hasn't really been too difficult to level up as a firebender. When I first started leveling up as my firebender account... First thing I did was, you know, collect money. I got as much money as I could so I could get all my first and second moves. So I had the money for my first and like half of my second moves. Then I sailed over to the fire fountain place to get my first set of moves and I couldn't get it because I didn't meditate. So on the way on the boat, I was meditating and as I was meditating, I was able to unlock it. Like literally I meditated, unlocked the first move. And then they were like, oh, you got to meditate more, which made sense because I meditated for less than five minutes. So then after meditating again, what I did was I basically circled the entire fire fountain map or island basically. And I just meditated while I was circling it for about 10, 15 minutes. Then I got all my first moves. Then I went to the underground city, which was honestly not that difficult to find. I thought it'd be a little bit difficult, but I just stuck to my logic on mazes. You stick to one side and you keep going that side. So I stuck to the left at first and went straight didn't work then i restarted it and stuck to the right that time and it actually worked and ever since then i don't think i failed once in getting to the underground city so it was not too difficult to understand it just took a few tries then i unlocked it after you know giving myself some money for my airbender account because my airbender account had money at the time as you might have seen in the previous videos but yeah that's basically what i did unlock the second move set then for the third move set it was at the volcano over there right over there and all i had to do was meditate and the philosophy that I had for meditating was I'll meditate and then I'll do like 150 like, you know, key presses and stuff like that. So if I mess up, it'd restart. But as I was meditating, um, I'd key press and stuff. Is that a waterbender? Is that a firebender? I can't tell. I think that's a waterbender. But basically I'd key press every single time. And it honestly worked out in my favor because I unlocked it within like less than 12 hours, I think. What is this? This is a beginner. Okay be toxic let's be toxic <laughs> i'm kidding <laughs> come here come here kochi <laughs> oh no i'm toxic bro i've become exactly what i did not want to become this is bad what's good my homie i'm not gonna kill you bro you seem like you're a beginner i don't want to kill you because you know just go after that boat there's no point going after a boat that's not gonna work out in your favor let's take that one just take that one. Is he gonna respawn a whole new boat? Does he not know how to run? He's still trying to get on top of it. What is this man doing? You know, I got your back. Come here, come here, get on my head. Get on my head. Get on my head, come on. This guy, come on. This is literally your chance right here. Oh my gosh, come on, bro. There you go. Good job. Jolly good show. And then fire jet. You're not running away from me that easily, bruh. Come on, son. Yeah. Yeah. We on the boat. We on the boat. Let's go. <laughs> fire propulsion. Or fire jet. <laughs> oh, this is funny. We're kind of in the water, too. I think I might have rotated our boat slightly. 
I think I might have just rotated us a little bit, but it's okay. It's not bad, right? It's not, it's not that toxic, is it? I don't know what this guy is doing, though. Is he just sailing, or is he trying to go to the fire fountain place? I, I don't necessarily understand. Are, are you okay, man? Where do you want to go? Okay, to me, it seems like this guy's going to the volcano, but I'm not going to, you know, assume, but I'll just wait until he goes there, and I, I guess I disconnected. Huh. Okay. Thanks, game. I'm probably gonna spawn in the water now. Okay, so I rejoined and we respawned back at the fire spawn. Oh, what's up, newbies? How you doing? Okay, how you doing? How you doing? But I actually wanted to end the video off here because there really wasn't any point to making the video any longer. Um, I might make an earthbending mastery video next. After that, I'm gonna make a video on all four elements. And then I'll probably make a separate chi blocker video. I'm not necessarily a fan of chi blockers, but I'll try to make one for y'all if you wanna experience it a little bit. No, I'm not. What's that noise? I hear fighting. What is this? <clears throat> Where are they? Uh uh. Nah, fam. Uh uh uh. Nah, fam. Don't you dare hit him. Nah! Did I already down him? Yeah, 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 yeah! I'm a fire. Dang. We pieced him out. Can you show me fire? No. <laughs> I'm not going to show you how to get fire. Nah. I don't, it's fire Fountain Island. Just go there. Just, just go Fire Fountain Island. The whole new island. Also, if he's attacking you, don't let him attack you. Where's that? I'm not going to tell you where that is. It's not my job to tell you. But I hope you all did enjoy this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, do me a favor. I'm not showing you. It's your job to find it, not mine. If you guys do enjoy this video, do me a favor, leave a like on the video. Rude. I'm not your nanny. I'm gonna kill this dude. I don't care. I don't care. Come here. Come here. I don't even know what my moveset is because I'm not even looking at it. I'm just pressing random keys. Bomb, bomb, bomb. This dude called me rude? Okay. Say less. Have fun being down. Okay. All right, well, I hope you all did enjoy the video. If you did, leave a like on the video. Also, subscribe if you're new to the channel. It's been nighttime in every single server I'm in. I'm kind of scared. But till then, it's been your man, Robo. I'm signing out now. Please like and subscribe. Take care, everybody.